So good morning and uh, welcome to our today's class. So for our today's class, I want we still uh, do more other questions on where we were in our previous class. And uh, in our previous class, we were on what we call the financial statements of a sole trader. The financial statements of a sole trader. So I want to do uh, two, uh, one more example, then we get to a new thing. So I want to do um, we talk of it as uh, this is financial statements. of a sole trader. So I want to do still on the uh, the CPA, sorry. Now uh, this one I'm doing using the CPA paper. I want to do May 2018, question number From the CPA, uh, this should be May 2018. I think I've uh, shared with you the paper from the CPA. From the CPA paper, May 2018. CPA CIFA first paper. Uh, CPA CIFA first paper is the one that I'm talking about. So we do So I'd uh, like we do that question of uh, CPA. I've shared with you the first paper. Uh, so I want we do uh, from the sitting of Not the one that I've shared. Now use the past paper that I've shared with you on the group. Uh, the past papers that I've shared with you from the group. Um, and we do May 2018. Question number one. May 2018. Question number one, May 2018, 
May 2018, question number one. Now this is uh, what you've been given that uh, Asuba Enterprise is a business run by a sole trader. Following trial balance was extracted from the books of accounts of the business as a 31st March 2018. We've been given the capital inventory sales purchases, electricity expenses, discount received, purchases returns, discount allowed, motor vehicle running expenses, drawings, bank balances, salaries, insurance trade receivables, irrecoverable debts, allowance for receivables, trading trade payables, general expenses, 9% loan, interest on loan paid, landed building, then we have the accumulated depreciation on buildings, equipment at cost, we have accumulated depreciation on equipment, we also have uh, the motor vehicle at cost, simulated depreciation on motor vehicle. Additional information number one, only 12 months salary is uh, shown on the trial balance. An equal amount in, uh, is paid salaries for each month of the year. As of 31st March 2018, the, she, she, she links that the two had been prepaid for, for in a insurance, while 4,100 was uh, owing for general expenses. 6,000 has been charged to general expense for owner's private holiday. As of that first part 2018, inventory was valued at 225,000. A customer owing 5,400 has been declared bankrupt. This amount is to be written off in full. This amount is to be written off in full and allowance for doubt in full debt of a receivable is to be maintained at 3% of the remaining trade receivables. As of 31st March 2018, Land was valued at shillings 1 million. Land is not to be depreciated. Presentation is provided as follows. Building 4% per annum. Equipment 25% per annum. Motor vehicle 40% per annum on reducing balance. There were no additions or disposals of non-current assets during the year. You required the income statement for the year ended 31st March 2018. So I say without waiting, wasting time, this one you just go direct to the equation. And uh, direct to, to the equation, this is what we mean. You will begin with uh, what we call the, the name of the enterprise which is a super enterprise enterprises and then what you begin with is the income statement income statement and this is for the year ended when for the year ended ended 31st march 2018 very past March 2018. I will have shillings there. I will also have shillings there. In our case, shillings are not in thousands. So the first thing, this is our format. And I say for you, you have to just understand the format. And in our case here, we normally begin with what we call the sales. In our case, we were given the sales which was 4214500 That was our sales. You less the sales returns. Sales returns, these are return inwards. The return inwards. So we call them the sales returns. 
which in our case we were also given, or were we given the sales returns? No, it was purchases return. So since we don't have sales returns, after you learn that this is now where you get the sales return, I'll say it is return in words. When a customer returns goods, so that means now we have the net, net sales. A net sales is uh, 4,214,500. Turn them to the far end, 4,214,500. That is uh, for the sales. Then you let what we call the cost of sales. Now, cost of sales in this case is determined by getting the opening inventory. That is the stock as at the beginning. And what is our opening inventory as at the beginning? Opening inventory as at the beginning we have it on the trial balance, which is 200 and what? 42,000. That is the opening inventory from the trial balance below the capital. Then we add purchases. We have purchases. Yes. Purchases we have of how much? 1673. 500, 1673, 500. Then you also are carried inwards. Carried inwards. So for the carriage inwards, in this case, do we have? We have courage in words. Now, courage in words, generally, this is what we mean. When you buy goods, you have to take them to the what? Warehouse. The cost that you incur to transport the goods to the warehouse is what we call in the courage in words. And therefore, we normally add it there. Let me just put it there. Then we also let the purchases returns, which are generally our return outwards. Return outwards. So what is our return outwards? We've been given there. Return outwards is of how much? 16.11 that. I also say you learn the drawings in goods. In goods. We also have it there. Drawings, in our case, we didn't have drawings in form of goods, but in your corner, it has. And then you less the closing inventory. That is how the format should be. Closing inventory on additional information number five, number four, 225. So get the cost of sales. You know, that is now what we give us the cost of sales. So in a copy and copy. The cost of sales. The, the sole proprietor when they drill goods for personal use. That was how. Yes. That is the drawings in form of goods. Mm -hmm. How much is it giving you? 
Nine. Yes. So that is the cause of shelves. Less from there, you get the gross. Gross profit. And I'll be indicating this equation, like for this one, I'll say it is for the CPS of CIFA. The paper is always the same. So, We proceed. So gross profit is uh, 258,400. 2,584,400. That is the gross profit. So from there, we add the other incomes. And other incomes I have. First one is the discount received now discount received is the dis, uh, discount that you are given by the supplier of goods so, so, so for you it is an income and we have discount received yes of how much 42 700 and discount from the trial balance is of 42 700 Again, also, I say there is a decrease in allowance for doughty food debt. In allowance for doughty food debt. Now, as a, 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 a business, you are always required to make a provision. Provision, I mean, in this case, is something where the probability of occurring is more than 50%. Now, this is what we mean when we talk of allowable debt, is where you sold goods to the credit on uh, to, uh, to customers on credits, but you are in doubt that these customers are going to do what? To pay. You have to make a provision. Are we together? Now, in this case, we look for either the decrease or the increase in allowance. Now, if it had decreased in, in a decrease kwa sababu, like for example, let's say it was 3,000. You are hoping 3,000 won't to be paid, and then you make a provision by the end of that year to 1,000. That means it has reduced by 1,000, and therefore, what you are expecting not to receive has decreased because the debtors have already done what? Paid. And that is why in this case, we have to take it as a, income so, so now we can confirm it so you go to additional information number five a customer owing 5400 has been declared bankrupt when a customer is declared bankrupt you write it off as a bad word bad debt so that means that is a bad debt <laughs> and therefore the amount was written off in Full. An allowance for receivable is maintained at 3% of the remaining balance. So you just get the 3% of the balances is now the receivables. So, so the trade receivable. So what was the amount for the re trade receivable? Was 101. Is it 101 or 101? Indo will also from the trial balance. The account receivables or trade receivables Indio, for the data. Like you know, already, you have written off 40 words, 5400. This one, you cannot make a provision of what you are sure of. So since you have written it off, you don't make a provision. So this will give you how much? In a coupe and gapi. How much is it giving you? That one five that go to the trial balance. Look for the allowance for receivable. 
umepewa wangapi? That one meona allowance for receivable. That one five nineteen. Right? So in our case, there is no increase or what? Decrease in allowance for bad days. So, so. But our CDP2 was an increase. That is where you could, increase you could have taken it there. So, so. Nikumanishi inge toka hapa, inge toka kwa hii na, na ungezeka, ama inge reduce like, for example, inge kuwa 35, 30. Nikumanishi ime decrease. So, ime decrease. So, so. Kama ime ungezeka, you take it as a what? As a, an expense. Now, the other one, if there is rent received, you also take it as part of what? Your income. So get the total incomes. Total incomes. How much are you getting as your total income? Your total income. How much? So it is two million six and twenty-seven one hundred. Right? Then from there you less the what? Expenses. Less. Expenses. So how shilling there? Shillings. So we begin with the first, we go first with the additional informations. We all end all those expenses that are there. Transen Ayakwanza. Only 10 months, salaries and wages are out. Additional information number one, only 10 months salaries are included in the old trial balance. Also, right? So I'll am on salaries and wages. Now, which concept are we applying there? In fact, it's a question that you are also asking uh, Roman number two, number three. You explain the accounting concept you would apply. Which is the accounting concept that you can apply in that case? We talked about them. Yeah, Bieni, Isema Nigani. You can guess. Matching concept, no. Which accounting concept do we apply? In uh, the first one, what were online? A van from um, Valentine, that is a cruel. Uh -huh. Andrew, you say is a cruel. Now, it is a cruel concept. A cruel concept is where we say that uh, you recognize the uh, expense. Once it is fully incurred, so, so, or the expense that is fully incurred, not necessarily when it is paid. Mm -hmm. That is only what they pay. So, so. 
So when you come on they didn't pay for the other two. So that means we have the, the for the other two months it will be accrued. So this one is how much? So you go to the total salary. Salary which was paid on the trial balance was of 10, 10, 80,000. This represents eight dollars. This represents eight, 10 months. How many months have not been paid? Two. So I'll just take 10 over 8,000. This one I divide by 10, then I multiply by two. So compare and up. Yes? So, so, because this represents the 10 months, this is for two, two months. This is uh, for two months. So we proceed. Now, the other one is uh, number two. There was a prepayment, that is on insurance. So there was a prepayment. Now on the prepayment, it was of how much? So from the trial balance, insurance is having 100 and what? 54,000. I said when it's a prepayment, it's not for this current, yeah, under the matching concept. So I love to let the 32,000. So in this case, it will give you one, how much? 120 watts. One twenty-two thousand. No. We proceed. Number two again. There was uh, general expenses which were owing. When they are owing, we mean they have not been what? They have not been paid. They have been incurred but not paid. So you get to the trial balance. The general expense is seven sixty-seven eight hundred plus. What was owing of 4100 so on that additional information number two? It was owing how much? So and then on additional information number three, 46,000 had been charged to general expenses for the owner's private work. Holiday. We know that is not a general expense, so I have to lend the 46,000. So this will be giving you 25,900. Right? Twenty-five nine hundred. Now, which is the accounting concept that we apply on that number three? Is it not Lianza Nazo? And I explained. Which is the accounting concept that is applied on that number three? <coughs> mm -hmm. The accounting concept. Accounting concept applied. Andrew, SM again. Yes, Valentine, you are saying the business entity word concept, where an entity is regarded to be separate from his owner. So once you do a transaction, that is uh, not a transaction for the business, but a transaction for you. And therefore, business entity concept. Now we proceed. The other one is number four we've done. Number five, we had the irrecoverable. 
irrecoverable debts. Irrecoverable debts are bad debts. You go to the trial balance. The bad debts were of how much? 14 to 100. You have these other expenses of 15 400. 14 to 100. Plus that other expense of 50. So in a compare 64. 64, 600. Now, the decrease here, it was not an increase, neither was it an increase. But come and get an increase in allowance. In allowance. For doubtful for days. Days. In a year couple. So in our case, we didn't have that. Now to end the Number six is land was valued to that. Land is not depreciated. Then number seven is on the depreciation. Land is not an expense. That is a current asset. So let's get to the depreciation. Now for the depreciation, the depreciation in this case, we begin with the first one, which is a uh, building. Now, from the trial balance, you are given the land and buildings, and we know land does not do what? Depreciate. So, and we know the cost of land is 1 million. That means the cost of building will be how much? I'll take 4% of 2 2.4 million. Awesome. Because if the both the land and building is 3.4, and on additional information, number six land is 1M. That means the remainder is for the what? Buildings, which in this case is how much? If you take that 4% of 2.4 million. In a kupengapi. Ninety-six thousand. That is uh, when depreciation is on cost. That is what we call the straight line method. Yeah, the straight line method of depreciation. So we proceed. We also add the equipment. What is the cost of equipment? So it is twenty-five percent on cost. Which in this case, the cost of equipment is equal to 220,000. How much? 55,000. Right? We proceed. We also have for what we call the motor vehicle. Now for motor vehicle, we were told that is a 40% on reducing balance. I say when the precision is on reducing balance, it is generally on the net book what? Net book value. So net book value is the cost minus the accumulated depreciation to 60,000. The accumulated depreciation on motor vehicle was 132,500. Now compare and gap 132,500. So how much is it giving you? Fifty one. Fifty one thousand. Fifty one thousand. So we are done with the depreciation. So we get back to the trial balance. Now we input all the other expenses which we've not included. So I'll transfer from up there. 
capital is not an uh, 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 inventory, not uh, an expense I was purchases. We have electricity what? Electricity expense of how much? Yes? 22? We also have uh, purchases. Uh, we have discount what? Discount allowed. You are allowed to customer. So meaning that you will incur the expense. What was the cost for the discount allowed? 24? 200. We also have uh, the motor vehicle running expenses. Motor vehicle running expense. Yangapi. 15. 800. The other one. We also have uh, uh, salaries to make uh, drawings are not expenses, insurance to make uh, recoverable debts or no general expenses we have. Then we have interest or not. I want you to listen here. Remember, interest is on the whole loan. So, so, so end up with you may pay a loan yake. We are given that the interest is 9% of the total loan. So the total loan is 1.5. So you have to take for you to know the total interest that is supposed to pay for the old, that loan. 9% of 1.5 is how much? 9% of 1.5. 135. So whatever we were given there down is what he, he paid. So what's up? So we will apply which concept? Still accrue what? Concept. So we'll also have to take the remaining balance to the current liabilities. So get the total here. We don't have any other expense. So you can have the total, in that, the total expenses total expenses. Total expenses, one million, nine or seven, eight hundred. So get the, the net profit. Get the net profit.
get the in total income to let the, the expense, which is how much? 719, right? And that is how you do for that. So let's get to the second one, which is what? The statement of financial position. I can wrap this. The statement of financial position now. Statement of financial position. So this is a Asuba Enterprise. Statement of financial as uh, a Latin for us, March twenty eighteen. As of that is first March 2018. So, so, so we begin with the assets. And assets we said we categorize them into two the non current assets and also current assets. So we begin with the non current assets. So for the non-current assets, we begin with, we'll begin with the land and what? Buildings. What was the cost for them? It was 3.4 million. But we have to pre represent them at net book what? The beginning, what was the accumulated depreciation for building? Yes, two hundred and sixty. Like in during the year, they have depreciated by how much? Ninety. So you have to raise the total accumulated depreciation up to thirty first. So what will be the value? Three million. Zero forty four thousand. We proceed. We have the equipment. What was the cost of equipment? Two hundred and twenty thousand, right? The cost. So, so, what about the accumulated depreciation for equipment? One or three thousand the plus depreciation for the whole year. All right, we can have the total accumulated depreciation. So, how much is it giving you? Sixty-two. We proceed. Motor vehicle. So, what was the cost for the motor vehicle? It was two hundred and what? Sixty thousand. Less the accumulated depreciation. One thirty two five hundred plus fifty one thousand. So it's a one gapi. So 
Seventy-six. Five hundred. We proceed. We have current assets. So for the current assets, we begin with the inventory. And this one I remember is as at the end. So that means we will put the closing inventory. Which was 220. On additional information, number four. The closing inventory was 225,000. What follows is the trade receivables. Now, trade receivables in this case, listen. Initially, this is the amount that you are expecting to receive from who? the data. But already, now whatever is on the trial balance, kama kuna bad data on the trial balance, is already in a kwanga isha deductible. So as a, whatever is not included is what is in the additional information. So there was a bad data that they wrote of, of 50 words. And then they also made a provision of 3%. So that 3% they made, it will cost how much? 3% of the remaining data. We part of that one. So you have to raise that provision. Where generally is where the Y increase to or decrease to. So, so, so it will be. So how much is it giving you? And four seventy. So so then we proceed. Do we have cash in hand? Was there cash in hand or cash balance? Young happy. 245. 245. 110. There was also cash in hand, right? Cash in hand. Was there cash in hand? I can come in your phone, you wake up. So, so. And then we have the prepayments. What was paid in other difference? So, we have the prepaid insurance. Which is of how much? What was prepaid? 32,000. So you can get the total assets. What is the total assets? Well, what rang up in? 4708. That is the total asset. So we go to capital 
and uh, liabilities. So for the capital and liabilities, we begin with the capital. So capital is equal to 18 what? 1852, 8 and 3. So, so, right? You add the net profit. Net profit is equal to 719,300. The net profit, 719,300. Then we less the drawings. So drawings from the trial balance, the drawings from the trial balance was amounting now to how much? Was it 320? 320,000 plus the one on additional information number four, number two, number three. That 46 that was charged in the, on the general expenses are drawings. So also personal expenses. Which in this case is 366,000. So you less that. So you can pay you in a copy and copy. How much is it giving you? Huh? Two? One hundred. Then uh, we'll go to non-current liabilities. Non-current liabilities. Non-current liability, we had the 9% loan. So, so, which was of one point? 1.5 and then we get to current liabilities so for the current liabilities we are current liabilities so we have the train Payables, trade payables near gap. Yes. Trade payables is uh, over 762. 888. Say there is also the accruals. Rules are those expenses not paid. And number one was on the salaries and what? The salaries. The salaries in this case, what was not paid was of how many days? 10, 8, uh, divide by 10, you multiply by two months. For two months is what was not paid, which is 200 and what? 16. There was also the general expenses, which were owing general expenses. And general from additional information number two, it was 41, 4100. And then I add for the loan interest, loan interest. Now for the loan, they were to pay 135,000. But what they have already paid is what? 120, senior. So that means there is an accrual of how much? 15,000. So you can get the total. I'm not going to get it. No other way. So what is the total? Capital. 
and liabilities. Total capital and liabilities. And the balance on forty seven zero four zero eight. Amari is how you do for that. So, anyone who is having a question, any question on that? So, I remember I gave some questions from uh, the CPA, uh, ATD. I will also give you for this one. I do May 2017. Should do question number four. You also do this as assignment. That is from the CPA. So you do that uh, as assignment. When we meet in our next class now, we'll do on incomplete what? records incomplete records is where now the sole proprietor may fail to maintain proper books of account meaning ata kuwa mekupea the trial balance how are we supposed to do on that so we proceed from there in our next class unless there is anyone who is having a question so anyone with a question All right, no question, let's proceed from there.